And if you're still working on your Father's Day menu, we've got you covered this morning. Jill Sharp is a cooking teacher and chef with thelakekitchen.com, and she's put together a great meal from start to finish uh, for us this morning. Good to see you again. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks for having me. Okay. So what are we going to do? Okay, this is going to be very special for Dad. And in honor of my dad, I've named these Bob's Kebabs Surf and Turf Style. <laughs> so first we're going to start out with, and I know every dad in my life loves an Arnold Palmer, which is just iced tea. And I get this cold brew iced tea, mm -hmm. so it's really easy. Just pop the water in, a little ice. And it is half lemonade and half iced tea. So you can nice. do it that way if you like, and then um, just pop it in a tall glass like that. If you wanted to add a little vodka, let Dad relax a little bit, you could do that. This is a dry fly vodka. It's actually um, distilled over in Spokane. Wow. So local, local. The Arnold Palmer. The Arnold Palmer. Okay, tell me more about Bob's Kebabs. Bob's Kebabs. a name Kebabs. like that, it's got to be good. It, yes, definitely. So we're starting off with the surf, and mm -hmm. the surf here, we are doing shrimp. First off, we're going to marinate it. So I have um, a little bit of ginger root just peeled and sliced in here. And what we're going to do is add, this is a lime and lemon juice right here, a little bit of soy sauce, soy sauce for some saltiness, pineapple juice. You want a little bit of sweet flavor in there. Just about one of these little cans is perfect. A little bit of honey, because we want to make sure and um, make, pump up the sweetness there a little bit as well. Mm -hmm. And then, you know what, a little bit of heat. You know, depending on how you like your, you know, if you like it a little spicy, add a little more. But, is it cayenne? Yes, okay. it's cayenne. And, but, you know, my dad's more on the mild side, so we just did a little okay. pinch of it, a little hint. So get that in there. And then what we're going to do is you put all your shrimp right into here for about 30 minutes okay. in the fridge and then um, bring it out. And then what we're going to do is skew it. So what I did is take these are green onions, mm -hmm. skew them on there, and then the shrimp individual there. And we just will put them on our grill here. We'll turn up our grill nice and high and get these rolling. So what I'm noticing about uh, your kebabs, Jill, is that uh, they are cut in uniform pieces because I've messed up. And yes. you have a big piece of something next to a little piece of something, the little piece gets overdone. Very true. And so this all very looks very true. uniform. Yes, that's a really good point. Um, I'm going to just do a little bit of salt and pepper here on these guys. And you know what? I'm doing this, obviously, in studio. They wouldn't let me bring my big girl in. So we, we settled for this. set off the fire alarm last Yes, time. yes. You know, <laughs> I don't want to pay that fine again. Um, and so we want to go ahead and get these going. And what we end up with is um, this shrimp right here, all nice and cooked. The green onion gets a little bit of char on it. And what we did with our sauce here, we added a little arrowroot, which is an easy thickener, mm. and boiled it down. And then we have this beautiful sauce that goes right over the top. Oh, wow. So totally delicious. And those are great for Dad to start snacking on. Wow, very cool. Yes. And then we're going to get to our... Um, Potatoes. Not only is it surf and surf, surf and turf style, it's meat and potatoes. You okay. know, yeah. we like the meat and potatoes. That is good stuff. So all veggies on these. Yes. Two. So this is baby red potatoes, and I just blanched them in the microwave, and then went ahead and cut up the zucchini, skewered it, and now I'm just basting it with a little bit of garlic and butter and chives. Mm -hmm. So just oh, keep that on good. rolling. Yep. So those need us down there about 20 minutes. Okay. Then we're gonna get to the steak part. We are gonna marinate. This is balsamic vinegar and about six tablespoons of olive oil. Soy sauce again, adding that salty component. Mm -hmm. A little bit of beef broth just to enhance the beefy flavor. And some thyme, a nice little background of thyme. Yeah, check those sneak, out. I'm gonna sneak a kebab <laughs> while you're still talking. Yes. Yeah, so you mix that around. And then you're going to add your garlic cloves. Mm. And what you're going to do here, take half of this, pour it in a pan. You're going to add the arrowroot again to thicken it. The rest of it, all your meat is going to, and mushrooms are going to go in here and marinate. That's really good. So really important, though, you don't put the marinade that the meat was in back on right. as your sauce because you right. could contaminate it, right? Exactly. Okay. So we're taking half of half, it out. Yeah. Yes. And you'll come up with this thick, Ooh, really delicious nice. sauce. Yeah. So what we do here, our kebabs, these guys will go ahead and go on here as well. And you can see, you know, however you like it. If you want it, if you don't like tomatoes, leave the tomatoes mm -hmm. off, you know. But like you said, all uniform cuts. And so we'll get these rolling on here. And then finally you want to put the top. This is, this is what really makes it nice and decadent, is that nice thick sauce over the top. Oh, that's cool. Just Balsamic perfect. Balsamic is such a great marinade. It really is. Yeah. It really is. And it tenderizes it as well as gives it flavor. Okay. What is this? Uh, okay. Apple tart? So I call it an open face apple pie. Mm -hmm. But... Technically, yeah, an apple tart, you know. It looks cool. Um, so what we take is, this is puff pastry, and you can find it in your freezer section, and you just unfold it that way, and what you want to do is just score around the outside, mm -hmm. and then you're going to fold it up. 
And then this is your apple. So I'm using a Granny Smith mm -hmm. and thank you. Yep. And a Pink Lady apple. Gonna add a little bit of acid, and what this is gonna do is really help keep the apples from turning brown. And then toss it with some flavoring and a thickener. So we have um, a little bit of salt, sugar, um, ginger, cinnamon, nutmeg, and flour to top it off. And you just toss those together, toss it in the middle of this guy, and then what you do is finish it off with a little oh, bit of caramel man, sauce. That looks good. So it's a little twist in like that caramel so apple pie. you just bake pie. that in the oven like it was? Yeah, so you just, but you actually, 400 degrees, good. you just pop it in, mm -hmm. in your oven, and about 20 minutes later, you come up with this beautiful apple tart. And you know, if your dad says, hey, this one's for me, they're really easy. You can make several for everyone. <laughs> well, this is some great stuff. So once again, and I have to show you guys before we go, this little grill that you brought yeah. is a little pop-open panini grill uh -huh. that you're using it to, to grill the kebab. Yeah, you know, it's a great alternative, especially for th the weather these mm -hmm. days. You yeah, never yeah. know. The rain is here. So, you know, it's a nice way to be able to grill a little bit inside. And it's really cool. a great panini press, too. Well, I hope you have a good Father's Day with thank your father. You, thank Jill, you. Thank much. you so much for coming in. And if you want to check out Jill's recipes, go to Q13Fox.com and click the food section of our lifestyle page. That's going to be good stuff. It's going to be a great Father's Day, Lily.